So you go first. After many, many years <laughs> as a Presbyterian, when it was time to look for a new church home, the first place we went was Christ Episcopal, partly because we had heard some incredible things mm -hmm. about the new father, Daniel London, and we weren't disappointed. We were awed by so many things. I, I have found a spiritual home at Christ Episcopal, and it, it is such a gift. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the warmth and authenticity of the congregation, the beauty of the music that David Powell puts together and that the organists give to us, what a gift. The outreach of the mission of the church, there's um, such a community involvement with Betty Chin and with the feeding pr program every month and with the foster child program. I, I just feel like I'm a part of a congregation that's really moving out into spreading God's love in our community. And um, I love the liturgy, the Episcopalian liturgy is uh, part of the lineage of Christianity held in the liturgy. And it connects me to the communion of saints, to the cloud of witnesses in a way that is really meaningful to me. But I have to say that the thing that has um, most delighted me, besides the warmth of the congregation and all the people I want to know better, is the depth of the leadership. Uh, Father Daniel brings the vision and the energy and the enthusiasm of relative youth in the package of an old soul, uh, of a man who has wisdom that's really beyond his years, his scholarship is phenomenal. Um, he's just very, very scholarly. So his sermons are well-researched and interesting and informative, but they're also inspirational because Father Dan has such a transparent and alive faith. And that, in my experience, is a really unusual combination for a scholar to be so alive in Jesus Christ, that it comes together in something really powerful. So I find myself inspired by his leadership and wanting to walk behind him and beside him and uh, do what God's calling Christ Church to do in Humboldt County. So I feel privileged to have found this spiritual home. Hmm. Wow, well said. Um, not much to add to that, except I, I think, you know, I had a long history with Christ Episcopal because I was a neighboring pastor. And the thing that first attracted me is that you're ecumenical. And because you're ecumenical, I knew um, Nancy Stoyfert and, and Peg and Pam and some of the pastors. So I thought, well, I got to go visit this church and then I'll just hop around and see all the different churches. But as soon as I came to Christ Episcopal, I thought, I can't go anywhere else. This is it. <laughs> so the other thing that attracted me was how biblical the message is, and how biblical the worship is. You know, we're Presbyterians. We're from a word, word-centered tradition. And uh, so I was thinking they can't be as biblical as us Presbyterians, but I mean, you really overdo it. You've got a psalm, you've got an Old Testament lesson, you've got an epistle, you've got a gospel lesson, and then you've got a very biblical sermon. I thought, well, okay, that's, I can't, that's, that's good. I mean, they're as word-centered as we thought we were as Presbyterians. And then the welcoming that I got, I mean, people were so friendly and authentic and interested and just said, come to this and join us for that. And I kept saying, no, 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 I'm just retired. But eventually I just said, yeah, okay. <laughs> and uh, we're just both delighted to be there. We, we feel very much at home. And I only had to walk a block and a half to find a new church home and we couldn't be happier. <laughs>